today on 15 on 15. Aruba Tourism Authority's 2015 corporate plan and budget revealed to tourism stakeholders. Plus, never misplace anything in your house again. Everyday items can now get a digital identity with Pixie. Plus, loyal Hyatt Hotel guests gives new GM advice on how to improve the property. Thanks for joining us. You are watching 15 on 15. I'm Yento Liu. Aruba Tourism Authority presented their corporate plan and budget for 2015. The president of the Committee of Tourism for Parliament detailed the agenda for us. Tourism stakeholders met on Tuesday to discuss the overview for 2015. Tourism accounts for 90% of employment on the island and 80% of the GDP. The objective of the team is to continue the success Aruba had with tourism last year. We know that in 2014 we had a very successful year um, regarding tourism, but obviously for 2015 we have to keep that and we have to improve our efforts to make sure that Aruba stays a very popular and very um, top destination among the tours. The marketing focus for now will be set on Aruba's beaches as well as hospitality service. Ensuring the beaches are pristine is a key priority. The sand and water must be maintained and protected in order to deliver a product that we have promised to tourists with ATA's marketing strategies. The type of visitors we want to attract this year remains the same. The part that we had a presentation about uh, where we can see that there's a shift that we um, actually as a country will promote more the part of the services that we have to offer and actually want to promote more or want to attract more um, quality tourists. That means that they want to spend more, they want to know more, they want to use more services of the island. Instead of only mass tourism, that will only maybe not spend as much as other um, tourists. In other local news, the team behind the multifunctional building in Nord is diligently working on the plans to ensure it is finished in a timely manner as well to ensure that it meets all standards. Besides for working on the architectural aspect of MFA Nord, the training to the staff who will be providing the service once the building is open is already in progress. The multifunctional building in Nord will have a library, an AZV office, a computer lab, a space to practice music, dance, as well as others. The construction is within its final phase. Information nights will be held to allow residents of Nord to make suggestions which will be incorporated into the project plans. A competition is being held for the primary schools in the district to come up with the best name for the new building. Fifth and sixth graders of public and private schools in the area have the chance to come up with the name. The Institute of Culture will then choose the one that is both historically and culturally suitable for the Nord area as well as for the building. Prime Minister Mike Amon recently met with a professor from Columbia University to discuss how to incorporate well-being into economic prosperity. Two aspects of that. One is making sure that you have shared prosperity, how to make sure that the benefits are, are shared within your society. Second one, sustainability. How do you make sure that the, the growth that you have is sustainable? And that links with another one of my long-standing concerns, which is how do you have environmentally sustainable growth? And on that note, we will be right back. Stay with us. When we come back, say goodbye to Monopoly money and hello to real cash. The board game will be putting in actual currency. Details next. Thanks for staying tuned to 15 on 15. There is no more playing hide-and-go-seek with your remote control, keys, or your cat, for that matter. A startup technology called Pixie lets you keep tabs on various household items. Check this out. Everyday items can now get a digital identity with Pixie. Pixie lets people affix lightweight smart tags, or Pixies, to possessions to keep tabs on their whereabouts. Think about it like a GPS system for everyday items. Pixies look like location pins from Google Maps and fit in the palm of your hand. The pins interact with each other using Bluetooth. 
They triangulate where they are in relation to each other. So the more items that you have pixies, the more data available to pinpoint an item's exact location. Users take a picture of each item and assign each tag a name in the app. Then affix the tag onto the item. Next time when an item is missing, let's say a remote control, just open the Pixie app and an X will indicate where the item is as long as it is within 150 feet. The technology can transmit through water, walls, and glass. The app also has a feature that sends automatic notifications if you leave the house without certain items. The developer, who is an executive in the corporate world, came up with the idea of Pixies when it took him 30 minutes to find his cat and one second to see what he sold in China in 2003. He says there is a big difference between the digital and physical world. There are two questions that couples should ask themselves to predetermine the fate of their marriage. Economists at the University of Virginia asked more than 4,000 couples the following questions. How happy are you in your marriage relative to how happy you would be if you weren't in the marriage? And how do you think your spouse would answer this question? The same questions were asked to the couples six years later. It turns out that most couples who said life wouldn't be any different if they were still single had broken up by the time they asked the question six years later. Also, the people who thought their partners were happier than they actually were usually ended up divorced. So those questions are good to keep in mind the next time you have that serious talk with your significant other. Moving on, remember Charlie with the golden ticket from the Willy Wonka movie? Well, in celebration of Monopoly's 80th anniversary, they are doing something similar. But instead of a golden ticket, it's more than $20,000 you can find in the board game. Don't call it Monopoly money. As part of the 80th anniversary of Monopoly's first appearance in France, Hasbro is issuing a handful of special sets in that country with real euros in place of the colorful paper it usually offers. Of the 80 special sets, 69 will have 5 10 euro notes and 5 20 euro notes. Another 10 will come with 5 20 euros, 2 50 euros and 1 100 euro bills and one set will have a complete bank drawer of real cash. That's about 21,000 euros and $24,000 for whoever is lucky enough to buy the box. Hasbro has yet to answer whether a similar plan is set for the United States, where the game is also celebrating its 80th anniversary. The board game has generated a hefty profit through the years, so they can most certainly afford 69 boxes full of real cash. Let's take a very quick break. This is what's coming up next for you. There's been internal changes at the Hyatt Regency, but expect no major development, only minor tweaks. We speak to the new GM next. When new management comes on board, it usually means changes and anxiety from the existing staff. But this doesn't seem to be the case with the new general manager of the Hyatt Regency Aruba. The Hyatt Regency in Aruba is a reputable property. The hotel is not a timeshare, Yet, there are tourists who choose the property year after year. There's not much that they'd like to see changed with a new GM in place. You know, physically, it's a, it's a great place. I mean, physically. Uh, you know, they, honestly, that's a hard question for me. I, you know, I'd like, to, I'd like a little more room on the beach, but that's just a result of the place being so popular. Honestly, don't disturb anything that we've got going now because it's in great shape so uh, that's all I would say I'm really very very happy here the most important thing to me is please please keep the continuity of what you have I don't need a lot of changes I think this island and what they have done for the island they're centrally located um, I feel secure uh, they're always making new things happen here they're always changing uh, they do redevelop different things into the actual Hyatt itself. I don't want changes. I'm hoping that they don't make too many massive changes because I come here because it's the same as it was five years ago. Joel Bundy is the new general manager of the Hyatt Regency in Aruba. He's been with the company for 23 years, from Hawaii to California, Washington, D.C., Curacao, and more. I look forward to continuing the great partnership that 
the Hyatt has with the island of Aruba, uh, continuing to move tourism forward, uh, the great economy that it brings. Uh, and I really just want to continue that great tradition. If you ask me what I want to change is nothing. Uh, we have such a great facility. We are doing some upgrades to it and some refreshes, uh, but the staff here are so friendly. Uh, I wouldn't want to change a thing. With so many satisfied hotel guests, Mr. Bundy's theory is why change a good thing? During his term with the Hyatt, he doesn't plan on making drastic changes. Well, you know, every new general manager has a little bit of a different sense of uh, attention to details, uh, perhaps a little bit with design, uh, new and creative ways to motivate employees to keep to keep guests happy and coming back. We have. Uh, here at this reception tonight, we have guests that have been coming here for 20 and 25 years, and they're counting on me uh, to not really make a lot of changes, but maybe tweak some things to, to continue to have it be a little bit different every year that they come back uh, and really just create that same uh, aura uh, of fun that they've been having on the island of Aruba and the Hyatt Regency for so many years. I spoke with Geraldine Gutenhoe to gauge how the existing associates of the Hyatt Regency is feeling in terms of any uncertainty with internal transition. Not at all. It's well known for Hyatt at least that we change general managers usually every three to four years. Um, so we all look forward to change because change is good for us. Um, so no, we were very excited to have Mr. Bundy with us. Many hotels on the island change GMs every few years. This allows for fresh eyes to come into the property and implement improvements. Additionally, movement within the corporation means opportunity for growth for the associates. 15 on 15 airs weeknights at 7.15 p.m., so be sure to join us then.